A lot of segregation and racism from the people who've managed to actually get to the passport control. Um, it seems like there's a hierarchy of Ukrainians first, Indians second, Africans last. So there has been a lot of segregation. Before we start this video, I just need y'all to do me a big favor. Go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Follow your boy on IG. What is y'all doing? Follow your boy on IG, man. Without further ado, look, I'm going to be 100% honest with y'all. Honestly, when I first seen this video, I found that th I thought this was just honestly disgusting. When I seen the video that y'all just watched, I thought this was I thought it was the most disgusting thing I have ever seen. For them to leave behind Africans and Indians, but I see their point of view on the situation. I see what they were trying to do. Now, to be honest, my whole point that I'm trying to make really is that I understand that you're trying to get citizens out first, but I feel like doing a war at that point, I feel like nothing matters. Nothing matters at that point. I feel like we like I want everybody to become safe. I want everybody to be safe. I don't care whether you're a citizen or not. I just want you to be safe. You still my brother and sister in Christ. I want everybody to be safe. I don't care about just getting citizens out first. I feel like they should never put a boundary on like citizens first. Indians last. I mean, Indians second, Africans uh, last. I just feel like there shouldn't have been like a boundary on that. I feel like whoever, whatever, how much people this train can fit, that's how many people we finna get out. That's how I'm looking at the situation. But you got to look at it like this too. If you're in another country, they're going to focus on their citizens first before they focus on the immigrants of that country. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what they're going to focus on the most. They're going to focus on citizens first and then they're going to focus on the immigrants that came to that country for whatever reason, whether that's educational or just to get a better life. That's just how that stuff works. Do I do I like how that system works? No. I don't like it at all. But that's just how it works. Because I know if the U.S. was under attack, that's exactly what they would do. Uh, let me rethink that situation. <laughs> I don't know if that's really what they're going to do. I, with the president we have, I don't know if that's really what's going to happen. But my point that I'm making is that stop screaming racism. We can't scream racism in every situation. This ain't racist at all. They're just doing the thing... They're just doing something that a lot of a lot of countries would do. This is not racist. The only reason why y'all screaming racist. Let me let me pick y'all brain. And I guarantee this is the only reason why a lot of people scream racism, especially the black people. This is why they scream racism. They denied an African woman and allowed a white woman. That's why they screaming racism. It wouldn't be no other reason why they screaming racism. They don't. They not even mention the Indians really. The Indians was left behind. Also, other people from other countries was left behind too. But Ukraine, Ukraine, a lot of their citizens are white. From the articles I didn't read, a lot of their citizens are right, white. So that's why people feel like this is racist. Oh, they're living like black people once again. It's segregated. This and I don't think it's segregation. I think they're just doing the right thing because if Africa or any other country was under attack, the first thing they're going to do is focus on their citizens, then focus on the people that fled to their country. They don't care at that point. Like I feel like me personally, I feel like every life matter. I don't feel like... Nobody should be left behind. I feel like if that train can fit up to, I don't know, a thousand, two thousand people. I feel like if hey, if you first in line, come on, come on, come on, go, 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 go. Let's go, let's go. Everybody, come on, everybody, go, 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 go. Like whoever gets on that train first, and if it gets packed up, then it gets packed up, and we'll come back for the next people. That's just how I'm looking at the situation. That's really how I'm looking at it. Also, a lot of a lot of countries warned their citizens that fled to. Uh, I was finna say Afghanistan. God dang, <laughs> that fled to um Ukraine. A lot of their, a lot of countries warned them like, hey yo, you need to get out of here instantly, immediately, expeditiously. You know what I'm saying? They they knew about this war. They knew about all what was finna happen within like the two week frame. You know what I'm saying? They knew everything two weeks ahead. So they should have they should have fled and got out of there, you know, immediately when their country told them to. But the countries that did not tell their uh citizens to get out of there, well. Ukraine looking at it like, well, you're not our problem. <laughs> you're their problem. That's how Ukraine looking at it. They looking at it like, well, I mean, you ain't a Ukrainian, so technically you're not our responsibility. It, you know what I'm saying? Africa, Nigeria, whatever. That you their responsibility, not ours. So we're gonna get our people out here first. And I understand that. I totally understand that. 
But let's just stop screaming racism. Let's look at it for a second. This is not racist at all. This is them putting their citizens first. That's all it is. Do I believe they should have did that? I believe that, well, hey, whatever people could fit on that train, that's whatever people, I feel like they should have, like, like the way I'm looking at it is like, okay, we in war. One train, net train. I feel like they should have like a line of train. I don't know how that's the word. I'm, I'm thinking of like a movie. I don't know why. This is real life. But they had that train right there. And I feel like whoever could fit on that train, go, 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 go. We in war. It don't matter what citizen. It don't matter who a citizen. It don't matter who. We in war right now. We got to get the freak out of here expeditiously. Forget, don't forget, whatever. We, we need to get out of here. Indians, Africans, whatever. We need to get out of here. Citizens, whatever. If you first in line, first come, first serve. That's how I'm looking at it. First come, first serve. Let's get out of here. But I see what they're trying to do. I see it. That's why I'm not calling racism. That's why I'm not saying none of that. I see what they're trying to do. And I totally understand. Citizens first before immigrants. Citizens first before immigrants. That's how a lot of countries look at it. So sit back, relax, take a chill pill, get your panties out of a bunch, get your panties out your booty hole. Look, they, they just doing the right thing. They doing what's right for their country. This is their country, not yours. Ukrainians first before African, before Indians and other foreign people that came to this country for whatever reason. Citizens first. Anyways, man, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, be your boy the pen. I love each and every one of y'all. Stop screaming racism, bro. Open your eyes. Look, be awake. Okay? Be awake. Open your eyes. Open your eyes, people. Open your eyes. This is this is what this is what they're doing. Okay? They're not doing anything right. This is what they're doing. Open your eyes. Without further ado, man, be your boy the pen. I love each and every one of y'all, man. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.